Recently, there has been a lot of activity on the part of the Army here in trying to acquire more land. In the recent past, we thought it would be a good thing to acquire more land because we are getting more customers. We were having a lot more training area. However, to my knowledge at this time, there is no effort to acquire more land. So when you're looking at a map, what you see is so much restricted airspace around here. I mean, what's so fascinating about the restricted airspace is that the ceiling goes all the way up into infinity. Um, can you explain that? We have many customers that like to come here and train. They don't want people to be here to know all their maneuvers, and they like their privacy. If the government wanted to hide evidence of the reverse engineering of extraterrestrial alien spacecraft, of course they'd give it to a defense contractor. Private contractors don't have to be responsive to freedom of information requests. The reason we're here is we've heard that Dugway might be the new Area 51, that uh, there was too much attention put on Area 51 and they've moved operations here. I just want to ask you, uh, just straight out, uh, are you aware of any testing or development of UFO or extraterrestrial technology taking place here at Dugway? You know, that's really an interesting question. I've actually had that quite a few times. To my knowledge, I'm not aware of any UFO training going on out here. Paula denied any presence of UFO technology at Dugway, but she did say she's been asked this question before which supports the idea that ufologists asking too many questions and getting too close like we did may have played a part in Dugway's recent attempts to expand. One place Dugway wanted to expand was on its southeast border. We need to go there and see if it provides a vantage point for peering into the base's activities. There is Michael Army Airfield. This is one of the longest runways in the world. You know, you can land the space shuttle here, but you can also only guess as to what other, you know, vehicles they're testing here. You saw Area 51 firsthand. How does it feel being here now and looking at Dugway compared to that? Well, there's certainly the same feeling of vastness if you just look at the view. I mean, you can see from horizon to horizon and there's nothing, there's nothing out there except for Dugway Proving Ground. This place is actually bigger than Area 51. Look at this, restricted, 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 restricted. It's everywhere. 